वेलकम टू जोरजिस्ट मोसिन यूट्यूब चैनल हैव यू एवर नोटिस डैट बर्ड्स कैन फ्लाई थाउजेंड्स ऑफ किलोमीटर्स विदाउट टेकिंग अ ब्रेक बट यू कैन नॉट रन इवन अ सिंगल किलोमीटर एंड बिकम एग्जास्ट वाई बर्ड्स कैन फ्लाई अप टू सो लॉन्ग डिस्टेंसेज विदाउट टेकिंग अ ब्रेक द आंसर लाइज इन द वेरी यूनिक हाईली एफिशेंट वन वे एयर पैसेज वे विद वन लॉन्ग द रेस्पायरेटरी सिस्टम Before starting the lecture, you are uh, humbly requested that please uh, subscribe our channel as well as hit the bell icon so that you may receive the latest notification from our channel and you may learn first of all. Let's have a look at the structural parts of the respiratory system of birds. The first structures are external nares which lie outside the body through which air enters toward the pharynx and then uh, it air leads toward trachea. Trachea is windpipe. Windpipe leads toward lung. Lungs have parabronchi. Remember that. lungs of birds don't have alveoli or closed air sacs pre posterior to lung there are sacs filled with air or you can say cavities these are called as posterior sacs while anterior to lung there are anterior sacs both sacs are very important and they have a very key role in the efficiency of the respiratory system of birds let's uh, understand its later now uh, we shall understand the air passage way with the help of this animated uh, model diagram and uh, hopefully you may learn very easily in a very simple way let's start from trachea uh, air enters from trachea and directly passes towards posterior sacs when posterior sacs are filled with this air this air is then pushed toward parabronchi in the lung remember that the fresh air bypasses the parabronchi and do not go towards parabronchi for gaseous exchange but first this fresh air enters into posterior sacs then from posterior sacs this air goes towards parabronchi and the gaseous exchange occur here all the oxygen from the air is absorbed in the blood while carbon dioxide from the blood is given out in the air and the air now become deoxygenated this deoxygenated air then enters into anterior sacs after deoxygenation so if you are asked that deoxygenated blood is present in so the answer is anterior sacs posterior sacs always have fresh air while anterior sacs have deoxygenated air when the uh, anterior sacs are filled the deoxygenated air again is pushed outside uh, through uh, an another another uh, opening uh, or pipe and this air is uh, expelled out through trachea that is the overall circulation of air in the respiratory system of uh, birds uh, let's have a look at inhalation when chest expand or thoracic cavity expands the air from trachea directly goes towards posterior sacs and posterior sacs are filled with oxygenated air at the same time simultaneously in the same expansion of chest the anterior sacs are filled with deoxygenated air now Uh, remember that these two fillings uh, happen at the same time when the chest expand or uh, uh, relax now these two uh, air sacs are filled uh, posterior with the oxygenated while anterior with the deoxygenated air the next phase is uh, exhalation during exhalation the filled air sacs when contract chest cavity contract and the air sacs also contract the air from the oxygen oxygenated air from the posterior sacs goes towards parabronchi and uh, ex gaseous exchange takes place there and at the same time air from the anterior sacs is pushed out toward trachea and this air leads toward trachea outside the body remember that blood moves in opposite direction to air flow in 
parabronchi if the blood is moving from front to backward the air is moving from backward to front so that is the exhalation process uh, which takes place uh, in after uh, inhalation hope you have got the theme point that how inhalation and exhalation occur in birds and why the system of respiration in birds is highly efficient and highly uh, effective let's have a look at the air passage way of the birds in our flow chart the first one the atmosphere uh, and air enters from atmosphere to trachea from trachea it goes to the posterior sac from posterior sac it goes toward parabronchi from parabronchi it goes toward anterior sac and from anterior sac it moves out from uh, from the body into atmosphere again and the cycle completes hope you have understood the, the respiratory system of birds and now you have got the point that why respiratory system of birds is highly efficient in providing them long term or uh, uh, long distance flights because the parabronchi receives always oxygenated blood and they don't uh, have deoxygenated blood like the other vertebrates or mammals while exhalation that's why the provision of oxygen to the parabronchi is continuous this is the main reason that blood of birds always contain oxygen more than the other vertebrates or mammals thank you so much at and uh, again you are requested that uh, please subscribe our channel as well as hit the bell icon so that you may receive the latest notification or lectures from our channel